This banana, got this from one of my favorites, Fuller's Nursery in Granville, Texas. This guy is huge, huge. And he's been growing real fast, real robust. Got some banana poo down there, a bunny poo down here. And uh, we got a lot of pups, they've been getting big. I really so love it. the Namwa I got from my good buddy Lee up in California. He let me dig up two pups because the first one I dug up, this one here didn't really have a corn, so we'll see how it does, but this one definitely seems to be wanting to grow. I wanna show you guys something. This banana y'all don't see often. You probably haven't ever seen, but you're seeing it now. You're seeing it now. Look at me now, huh? Look at me now. Goodness, got about seven pups down there. I ain't gonna mess with them, y'all. Y'all know me, I can start cutting them pups off and cutting them pups off. And, hmm, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Just gonna leave it alone. All right, y'all, so we finna throw some compost on top of this banana. This here is the compost. We got it from the garden of Twitty. This is the greenhouse compost. Mixed with a little bit of the original pal. You can see here we even still got some cardboard there. But uh, the original pile is mostly just worm castings now. So what I'm just going to do is cast this around. Not even really cast it, but just drop it around here at the far edges. I know my roots are coming out far now. I can see them. So I'm just putting a little compost on them. Then, after I throw this compost on them, I'm gonna throw a little bit more mulch on them. Cause they need it. It's time for a good mulching. And of course, you can see I throw all kinds of stuff up under here. Got some ashes, as you can see, that pale discoloration. We got some uh, banana peels. Might be able to see that right there. We got a lot of stuff under here. So we got that ring of compost. What I'm gonna do now is just spread some of the pine needles on there. So just hold up. All right, so you can see the compost there. And I like to think it's good compost. What I'm gonna do now is just throw a lot of these pine needles all around it. Get the fresh on. Definitely gonna wet it down real good. Get everything in there happy. Let me put uh, the leaves down in there. This is just part of the regular maintenance for your banana. Just as if you were doing regular maintenance for your car. You gotta put the fuel in there. You gotta put that uh that good all that good all type stuff. So the oil is your longevity. That's your mulch. That's gonna be there for a while. It's gonna be hard for it to break down. Pretty much same as your compost. It's gonna be there for a while. Want it to break down, but now your water, your liquid feed, that's going to be your fuel, that banana fuel. So I think I got a good amount on here. 
Kind of mix in this older mulch. That way, the top mulch, the fresh mulch, starts getting the composting. Starts working. Now, nothing else to do but uh, get it, get it wet. Get it wet, get it wet, get it wet. So this is really it, y'all. Bananas is really not the hardest thing. It's just like a whole lot of water, a whole lot of compost, whatever kind of food you're gonna feed them, a whole lot of sun. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this real wet. I just put some of my uh, fresh batch of banana water on it. We're gonna call it a night, y'all. Peace. Peace and love.